he'll sit for the rest of the almost the half. So they need him to play a little smarter. The Alti's attempt was in the cylinder, popped out. He's six for eleven. Oh, Gaddy, a flourish. Throw had a block inside though by Blake Metcalf. Metcalf screens for Black, lifts a pair of defenders, but he walked. Good call. Ten turnovers on Albany. See if the Huskies go back to a little screen down from CJ to get a, another good shot. They got it last couple times and gotten baskets out of it. Washington's been more efficient here in the second half. They had 10 turnovers in the first half, just one here in the second half so far. And they lead by seven as a result. Akeem Stewart. That's yeah, a bad pass. Jabbed away. There's your rugby player the other way. Sam Roli with a two-hand slam. Cox on the screen from Aziz Enjai. Pounces to Giroux, then resets for three out of the corner. Enjai to rebound, muscles up, had it blocked, no whistle, out of, jab, bounds, out of bounds. It'll be Washington basketball when we come back after the timeout. Washington 45, Albany 40 on the Pac 12 network. When I was a kid, I always dreamed of being involved in aviation. The leading edge story is really an amazing story. To go from a mop bucket to world's largest aircraft painting company, it's incredible. If you're flying in an aircraft, we probably painted it. You know, I love my job. I get to see a side of aviation that most people don't. You have to be willing to go out and try to do something, not knowing if you're going to be totally successful. You have your dream, and you need a bank behind you that's going to support that. Without Bank of the West, I wouldn't have what I have today. Hello friend, I'm Pat Boone. Are you dreaming of an ideal retirement? Well, if you're 62 or older, there's a smart and easy way to get the money to make it happen. A reverse mortgage from my friends at Security One Lending, a national leader in reverse mortgages. They can help you turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. Call to get this free, no obligation information kit, which includes an educational video and the top 10 things to know about reverse mortgages. Why don't you call now? Some information in this world is simple to understand, while some, well, these days we don't need more information, we need better information. And when it comes to TV, nobody provides better information than Channel Guide magazine. It's all there. Hits, classics, A to Z movie listings, sports, exclusive interviews, programming grids, and recommendations. Channel Guide magazine has you covered, which is more than you can say for the rest of your life. Basketball night, a Pac-12 doubleheader. At 6, Utah hosts Sacramento State. Then at 8, the Oregon Ducks take on Vanderbilt. Coverage begins Friday at 6 on Pac-12 Networks. You're watching Pac-12 Networks. 45-40, Washington leading the Albany Great Danes with 11 and change left in the ball game here at Alaska Airlines Arena here with Detlef Strip tonight on the microphone. He'll be joining us at several of the broadcasts on the Pac-12 Network. Detlef of the class of 1985 playing for the great Marv Harshman here in Washington. The resume is quite good. Led the Huskies in assists, rebounds, and scoring. In 84, 16-year NBA career. Stop in Seattle for six years. Six really good years. Those were fun years. Fun years. And look at those shorts. Yeah, they're coming back, you know, Kevin. Are they? Oh, well, yes. Somebody's going to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a European thing. Maybe they're coming back over in Europe or something on the beach. A little zone by the Great Danes. Daddy lobs it toward the rim to end drive, but blocked from behind. Nice play by Albany. Yauti in transition. He's got the green light. Defensive rebound. And Jai outlets to Gaddy. 
He'll pull it out. Then pick the picker. Looking for a high low there. Not much rhythm to the offense right now. Danny off the screen, rolling his Drew, but it's dislodged from him and out of bounds. It'll be watching the ball. Friends, you want to hear what the coaches have to say, don't you, about the past weekend's football action? Tune in tonight for Pac-12 Playbook. You'll get the sideline insight from the guys calling all the shots. The Pac-12 Playbook tonight at 10.30 on Pac-12 Networks. 45-40, Washington on top of Albany. And the Great Danes are in a pretty good spot right now with three to shoot. Gaddy's got a fail, and he hits a three. Gaddy lets it fly. He's nailed two threes here in the second half. He has 14. Big basket. Everyone was yelling shot clock, and uh, he had to let it go from about 24 feet. Washington up eight. Cooley to Yauti. How does he get open? Well, he put a little subtle up fake on Wilcox, who went flying by him that time, and then with a dribble adjustment, he nails yet another three. Yauti is six for ten from three. Out of bounds, Husky basketball. He just floats along, doesn't he? Baseline to baseline. The thing you see about him, though, is that he is constantly moving. Constantly moving. And again, penetration and kick out. And he's towing that line. He's fired up. I mean, this is uh, this is like March Madness for Albany right now. Yeah. You know, they they play a very competitive schedule. As we mentioned, they beat Duquesne to start the year. They hung in there for a half or so with Ohio State and Columbus before falling to the fourth-ranked Buckeyes, 82-60. Here's Caddy. That rims out, and the rebound recovered by Luke Devlin. Yalti circles off the screen. Simmons tracks him. Devlin steps out. They rotate it to the corner where Black will drive baseline. Shut off. 18 to shoot. Nobody very patient, too. Devlin, if they probe, if they don't have it, they bring it out. A good half court team there. They know their roles. Seven to shoot. We'll see what they come up with now. Yeah, he's picking the roll. He's going to let it fly. Here he comes. <laughs> I think that was more a lot toward the rim. Hoping a big would get it than it was a shot. But he let it fly nonetheless, and the Huskies got to stop. I think this first missing quite a, quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> he's loving it. As Detlef mentioned, Yowdy became a starter. At the tail end of the year last year, seven games remaining in the season, injuries cropped up. He stepped in, did a magnificent job. Team Stewart over to Gaddy. Good ball fake. to the baseline, trying to force it inside with three seconds in the lane. He caught his teammates in the paint with that. Looked like he was going to go airborne with a jumper there. The Desmond has to take that shot in the paint. He made a nice move. He's five feet from the basket. He, he can take that shot. He has to just get a little bit more confident in it. Wash it. So Albany's done a nice job to throw out of that double team and locate him most of the time. And, and, and conversely, he's spreading the floor. He's finding some soft spots there when they double. Yes, as uh, Coach mentioned earlier today at shoot around, he said they're really, you know, Mike Black is kind of their, their engine. He, he penetrates. He is pretty aggressive. But most of the guys know their role, so they, they look for their shooters. And uh, as you see, a couple guys had decent-looking shots, and they turn them down and pass it back out for a three, and that's paid off for them. Albany 6 of 16 from three. The Huskies 2 for 9. Of course, one of their better three-point shooters, well, one of the best three-point shooters, is a junior third in the... Pac-12 and three-point percentage at 45 percent. Scott Suggs out of the lineup. If you're just joining us, Suggs went down with an elbow to the back of the head, caught a knee in the same play, was wobbly, was able to wobble to his feet, and they assisted him to the locker room, and he is ruled out with a concussion. And that was just two minutes into this game. Washington by five, clinging to a lead with nine minutes remaining in the game. Gary A with it. Black on the exchange had it jabbed away. Huskies got to stop. Gaddy wanted to move down the floor. No one with him. He'll pull it out. He 
look at this Husky lineup and you have to ask, where, where's the offense going to come from? Well, in the first half, it was Aziz Njai. The Huskies were carried by Njai in the first 10 minutes of this game. Gaddy has hit a couple of threes here in the second half. Wilcox is coming off the court. I think Lorenzo Romar had the same question in his mind that you did, Detlef. We need some more punch out there right now. Well, Hakeem came up for a nice down screen and got a nice elbow jumper that fouled. And he has to take that shot. He's wide open, and I think that's just will come with a little bit more playing time and some confidence. Stewart is a sophomore from Seattle's Rainier Beach High School. Nate Robinson, Jamal Crawford hailed from Rainier Beach. Stewart's older brothers played at a high level. Roderick at USC. Roderick at USC and then later Kansas. Seven point lead for Washington with 8.28 remaining. There's that man, Jacob Yauti. Spelled I A T I. His brother's an assistant coach on the bench and played for Albany. I think that had some pretty good one on one matchups. Oh, that question. Big brother, little brother stuff. You bet. But John Puck with a drop step for a bucket inside and Albany right there down five with eight minutes remaining. Simmons into the air finds a man outside it's Andrews. Good anticipation by Enjai the offensive rebound. Andrews ran out of real estate got a ball in the air though and that allows Enjai an opportunity he's fouled. There's Aziz coming alive, back-to-back -back offensive rebounds. Still very much in question here in Seattle. Albany playing this game as if it were March Madness with 7.48 remaining in the ball game. It's Washington 50, Albany 45. Thank you by State Farm for auto, home, life, and banking. Get to a better state. And by Frostbrew Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. Seattle, Washington, in the side of tonight's game. The University of Washington leading Albany, the Great Danes of the American East Conference, 50 to 45. Two minutes into the game, Scott Suggs went down with a couple of shots to the head, and got up wobbly. And then Desmond Simmons got clipped with an elbow. And that opened up a cut over his right eye. He would come back to play, but Suggs was ruled out with a concussion. And so Lorenzo Romars had to be creative, pushing buttons here, trying to manufacture a rotation here without Scott Suggs, who figured to get big minutes in this game and others this season as he's engine to the line. Jai with a double double. Last game he had 10 and 16. He's up to 13 and 11 tonight. Amazing that he's come back from knee surgery as well. From the College of Southern Idaho. Set out here to rehab the knee. And he's packed 12 all defensive team a year ago. Missed both free throws here though. That opens the door to Albany down five with 7.38 remaining. The Great Danes with possession of the ball. They weave it up top with 17 to shoot. Moving well without the ball. Yauti being tracked by Wilcox. Yauti stands just 5.10. Six to shoot. Mike Black with it. Switching out is Enjai drives him into the lane and laid it up and in does Mike Black. He went right at the big man. They might have figured out uh, what the Huskies do at the end of the shot clock. They switch everything and they just ran a pick and roll with uh, Aziz and uh, Black found himself uh, being guarded by a seven foot out on the perimeter. Boy, and, and Yauti's ability to shoot three just draws another defender out there. So you're not going to get much help, are you? Stewart gives to Wilcox 50 to 47 Washington by three inside of Simmons fouled on the catch. This will be the seventh foul in Albany. And sends Simmons to the line Simmons is 62 percent or a year ago in Pac-12 play. Battles on Rowley. Andrews 
Hits the first free throw. The Huskies are 11 of 19 from the line. Unfortunately, that sounds familiar. Second one is up and in. Enjai's been to the line eight times. He's three for eight. Andrews hits both here, and the Huskies again lead by five. Now that was early on the clock with 22 to shoot. The big man got bailed out. The rebound right to Mike Black. He lays it in. He's fouled, and Mike Black is going to go to the line. Well, you see a big man, Detlef. Dave Wakeman crank up a three with uh, 22 on the shot clock. You think, well, things are going to go the Huskies' way, but no. But that took Aziz off away from the basket and uh, long rebound. Little guard came in and got it and got to the basket. Three point play. And that was Devlin with the three point shot, and he'll come over to the bench now. And in will come John Puck for Albany. Black with 17 points, five assists, and five rebounds. And it's the free throw. First team All American East last year. Two point lead for the Huskies. 6 18 remaining in the second. Washington's largest lead has been eight. Wilcox. Getting it back from Andrews, one dribble into the lane. And that was enough for the defense to get there and a block shot. John Puck comes over to get it. I think CJ was a little surprised he was that wide open. He had a layup on the left side and chose to do the reverse. Hooley with it. Puck hands off to Mike Black. 13 to shoot. 544 remaining. Black head down into the lane, goes right at inside, laying it in. Boy, Mike Black now is on fire. 7 of 12, he has 20 points. And another Husky goes down. Andrews gets up, holding his left shoulder. Those two guards, Yowie and Black, have done a combo job on the Huskies. 40 points between them. That looked like friendly fire there. <laughs> well, Aziz got pushed into him, but uh, I think Jacob got him by the arm. Well, something needs to be done by the Huskies. Mike Black has scored the last seven Albany points. Henry's missed the second. One of those missed free throws coming back and telling on. Washington Huskies 13 to 22 at the line. And they lead by one. Do you think it's going to be a pick and roll with Black? <laughs> Boy, they went high low that time. Deadlift. Everybody lifted. And then the big man, John Puck, behind the action for the jam. That's a great play there. Now they're not coming up the shooters anymore. Now they're running pick and roll, and the rotation is not there. And Puck got a got an easy dunk there. A kid that's looking pretty athletic. Uh, apparently dropped 20 pounds since last year and uh, is, is jumping a, a lot better. 54-53, Albany by one. And we welcome in a new audience on our Pac-12 networks. Joining us in progress here from Seattle, Washington, Alaska Airlines Arena, Detlef Shrimp, Kevin Calabro on hand. Albany of the America East Conference leading Washington 54-53. The Huskies led by eight at one point here in the second half. They led by four. Albany did at half. Albany has scored the last 12 points in the paint for either team. They're spreading the court. They're, I think they're worried a little bit about uh, Jacob hitting those threes, and Mike Black is getting into the paint. And now they're, you know, they're picking uh, Washington apart a little bit with uh, good passing. Washington had 20 points in the paint in the first half. Is he Zenjai doing some damage? Albany with two guards. Jacob Yowie with 20 points on six of 11 from three, and Mike Black with 20 points. 7 of 12 shooting from the field. He's taken the lead of one with 448 remaining. Andrew Andrews. 
it. C.J. Wilcox, 10 to shoot. Here's the lob inside to Simmons, beneath the rim, fakes, Puck got a piece, Puck with the block, stolen away by Njai, lost to the floor, Simmons diving for it, and they tie up for it. And on the exchange arrow, Washington will get it, but time had run out on the shot clock. Albany really scrapping. We've commented tonight that Albany's playing this game as if this is their shot at March Madness. It's almost as if this were a tournament game. Got a Pac-12 team that is the defending regular season Pac-12 champion a year ago against a school in Albany that went Division One in 1996, representing the American East Conference. Schools like Vermont, New Hampshire, Boston U, Maine, and Hartford, and they have really put in a battle here tonight. They beat the Atlantic 10's Duquesne Dukes 69-66. Gave Ohio State a pretty good first half before succumbing to the number four rated Buckeyes in Columbus 82-60. So this is not a team to be trifled with. And remember, Will Brown, the 12-year coach now of Albany, has recorded 149 victories with Albany. He knows what he's doing over there, and he knows his club. Yeah, they're very disciplined. They they know their roles and uh, they've executed well today. And I think the Huskies need to come up with something against that two-three zone uh, because if they don't get a couple scores here, uh, they're going to see that the rest of the game. And they haven't been very successful against it. So Washington Dentlin's got to call upon some deep reserves here right now. They've got to will this victory. That means some stops defensively. They've just not the here in the last ten minutes. They've not proven to be able to stop. The Albany Dames. They're, they uh, struggled with the pick and rolls and uh, and giving up some threes, and now they're giving up a couple layups uh, because they're a little reluctant to help out on the weak side. So they, they have to put it together here. And uh, any which way you get a win like this, you know, it, it's important, especially at home. So they're, they're scrambling. The officials are determining if there was a shot clock violation. The Huskies did have possession of the ball, but time had run out on the shot clock, and so Albany is going to get the basketball. Gaddy thought the Huskies were going to bring it in. He was out of bounds. And instead, Albany will take it. With a one point lead and 427 to play. Albany's first lead since the 1810 mark when they were up one. Jacob. Yauti, Mike Black between them, 40 points. Peter Hooley, the freshman from Australia, will give way to Mike Black. Black, the senior from Chicago Fenwick High School. Five to shoot. Simmons deflects it, ball loose, up for grabs. Black comes down when it got off the shot, hit the rim, but that came after. The shot clock had run down, and so Washington will take it. Great defensive position there for the Huskies. Uh, they really trapped the ball and, and rotated well and got back to the shooters. Timeout on the deck. The Danes leading Washington 54-53 with 3.54 left in the ball game from Seattle on the Pac-12 Networks. Next for career day, quarterback Aaron Rodgers. That State Farm agent said she helps people. What do you do? I play football. That's not a job. Uh, well. Did you save my dad hundreds with the discount double check? No, but I was MVP last year. Mr. Hubble says trophies are for people with self-esteem issues. Who's Mr. Hubble? That's Rod Hubble. No, it is not. For savings, we're best in class. Hey, Rodgers! Discount double check! Get to a better state. State Farm. Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Everybody remembers the play. But what about the strategy? 
the teamwork, the execution. That is logistics. And that is what we do. Albany leading Seattle in Seattle. The Washington Huskies 54-53 with 354 remaining in the game. Mike Black, senior guard from Chicago, Illinois, having a big ball game tonight. As we knew before the game, he, he's, he's the guy for, for this team. He makes them go. He is fearless. He gets in the pain. He makes good passes to the shooters. And uh, tonight he's, uh, you know, rebounding for them. He's, uh, he's passing the ball. He's obviously uh, getting into the paint and shooting over those big guys. He and Jacob Yauti have combined for 40 points. The rest of the club has scored 14, obviously. Yauti 20, Black with 20. Yauti's hit the Huskies with threes. He's six for 11 out there. Now Washington against the 2 3 zone. He's got to make it happen. Down one with 340 remaining. Trying to work a little bit of an overload. Maybe throw a pick and roll in there and then get one of the shooters open. Ooh. Wilcox jams, goes baseline. A contact made with Puck. No whistle, and the ball turned over. Albany will take it. Washington with 15 turnovers, five here in the second half. Rowley hands off to Black. Now Puck takes over. 17 to shoot. Good movement by Albany. Great Danes. Looking for an early season upset here on the road with 258 remaining. Mike Black fires a bullet inside, intended for Puck, deflected out of bounds off of Gaddy. He doesn't protest. Crowd didn't like the call. Albany will take it, but Detlef one to shoot. Cal Irvine coming up next to take on UCLA in our doubleheader on the inbounds. Wide open with one on the shot clock. Shouldn't happen on the inbounds. Sam Rowley lays it in. Three point lead for Albany. Two guys went with the shooter and he just slipped to the basket for an easy layup. Andrews over to Wilcox. Slides in going lefty. Muscles it up and in. They needed that one badly. Wilcox, four of 13 shooting for CJ Wilcox, who is the leading scorer returning from last year's squad. He averaged 14 a game last year. One point lead for Albany, 2.15 remaining in this game. Pick and roll, puck to the glass, laid it in. And again, Washington can't defend the side pick and roll. Albany with a three point lead and puck with eight points. Under two minutes remaining. The Great Danes have taken the uh, weak side help out of play by doing a little pick and roll on the side with an overload, and uh, Huskies are giving a couple of easy baskets. Wilcox gets a three up and in, and crowd now very much into this. Wilcox with his first three of the night. And we're tied at 58 and a good one with a minute 30 remaining. Black is fouled on the floor by Andrew Andrews. This is just the 15th foul on Washington. The fourth on Andrews. It's a big stop here. Or a big bucket. Here's all the other way. Yep. Mike Black will get it. Yauti's been quiet lately. Mike Black's been able to operate on this high screen. They bring Puck up top. Yauti will take it. Puck again slips the screen. He was open for a moment. Cross court pass knocked down by Wilcox. Recovered by Albany. They lose it. Into the hands of Andrews. And this will put the Huskies at the line. Where they have been tenuous at best tonight, 13 of 22 for the Huskies at the strike. Albany is uh, milking the clock. They're going to run it down to about 12 seconds and give it to Mike Brown for a pick and roll, and they never got to it.